first step to removing and greasing your seamer roller bearings is to remove the can guide rail from your seamer. For this, you'll need a half inch wrench. To do this, you'll only need to remove the outside two bolts. Next, remove the spring that holds the arms to the cam. After that, with a 5 16 wrench, we will remove the grease fitting on the top side of the arm bearing assembly. Finally, You'll remove the three bolts with the retaining clips that hold the arm bearing assembly to the top seamer plate. After that, you can slide the entire arm bearing assembly out through the bottom of the plate. Once the assembly has been removed, you'll take a small screwdriver and remove the retaining clip from the inside of the roller. Then, while holding the center cap in, Grease the fitting on top of the roller. Until you feel grease pushing against the center cap. Once this occurs, roll the grease into the bearings you shouldn't get more than two revolutions out of the roller once it's properly packed. Then, remove the center cap and wipe out any excess grease. And the cap and the bearings. For this, we recommend an FG1 food grade grease. Once all the excess has been cleaned off, reinstall the center cap and the retaining clip. While you have this assembly out, it's also a good idea to grease your cam followers. This is done with the grease fitting underneath. Grease until you see it come out the top and wipe off the excess. Then it's time to reinstall. Ensure while reinstalling that the grease fitting is facing towards the back of the seamer.
to grease the arm roller bearings. Ensure that the grease fitting is installed. And with a grease gun and the cap removed. Until you see grease coming out the top near the collar. Then wipe away any excess grease and install the grease bearing cap.